welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a full face testing new at the drugstore products. I have every single product except like two to do a complete full face. So without any further ado, if you are interested in seeing a full face using new at the drugstore products, then just keep on watching. So I grabbed two primers. Um, the first is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist 12 hour wear with coconut water. So we are going to use this first in order to really hydrate the skin and then I also have the sheer envy long wear primer and this is just gonna help your makeup last throughout the day and adhere to your face as well we're gonna use both of these because I really need extra hydration all I have is my moisturizer that I put on like hours and hours ago so we're gonna give this a good shake I really like the sprayer on there. It definitely has a coconutty smell to it. So I'm just gonna tap in any excess and yeah, feels really nice on my chest as well. It got on there, feels very like tacky. So it's infused with electrolytes and coconut water and aloe and all of those will add hydration. Feels really, really nice on my skin. Okay, now we're going to go in with the hard candy long wear primer. I honestly mainly go in with primers that are hydrating and illuminating just because I have dry skin and I like looking glowy and I like feeling hydrated. So this is the primer. It has a kind of cream beige tone to it. Doesn't feel very silicone-y. Feels really nice. Very tacky. Has a different finish than what I'm used to. I'm used to just hydrating or illuminating as I said but feels okay. Now for foundation I'm so excited about this one. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation and mine is in Porcelain Fair Warm. So this is their lightest shade, I believe, but it also has a more warm yellow undertone rather than like a cool pink undertone. I do like the original, um, don't like the smell of it. I just used it up and decluttered it at some point because it had expired, but I really did like that one. So far, I've heard that this is the same thing as the other one. Um, I've watched a few videos and people say that they don't really notice a difference, but this one is said to hydrate and smooth the complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage. Love that, especially with all this going on. For normal to dry skin, shake well before use, and it is a vegan and cruelty-free formula, which I love. Still smells like paint, so. Oh yeah, I did dye my hair. I did it today. Um, I had hair dye. I will link down below what I used. I had hair dye sitting in my room, and I knew it was a matter of time in this quarantine before I used it, and I dyed it, so. I did that. My hair is kind of pinky, pinky, reddish. I don't know. I was just sick of my hair and I dyed it. Very, very wet, liquidy formula. Feels the same so far as the original. Hoping to get full coverage today. Um, I have a new concealer to try out as well, but I would like to see how much we can build this up. So this is how the foundation is looking blended out. It's definitely not looking dewy on my skin, um, especially around my nose and my forehead. It's looking a little bit dry and just like a little touch cakey in those areas. So rather than building this up and getting potentially more dryness, I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. Not sure about this. It does look nice on my skin, but I'm not blown away and it's not as dewy as I would have hoped. For concealer, we have a very popular product to try out. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It says it has a satin finish and mine is in Fair Rose. I like the regular formula. It's a tad on the drier side, so I understand why they would come out with a hydrating version. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal all of my spots first. I'd say right off the bat, it feels more liquidy than the regular camo. And again, just going ahead and blending that with my beauty sponge. It doesn't look to be incredibly hydrating on my skin. It could just be because it's lighter. Sometimes that does emphasize texture, I find. If I go like a little darker, sometimes it looks better. I feel like I might like this one more for under eyes concealing than for actual 
spot concealing especially because it appears to be lighter okay i'm gonna go off camera and set my face with powder and then also bronze um, and then we will be back to test some more products so here's how things are now looking um i want to fill you in on what i've done i've just gone ahead and done all of the steps that i needed to do that don't involve all of these new drugstore goodies so that the rest of the video will strictly be using all of the new drugstore stuff so for brown I have two different products. I have the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and this is in Blondie or nope just blonde. <laughs> Um, this is not super new from what I know, but I've never tried it and I needed something new to try for brows. So I picked it up and then Hard Candy sent over a product that is new. This is their gel pomade brow gel in light medium. We are going to go in with this brows now gel pomade brow pencil. And this is in light medium. As I said, it's a little difficult to be super precise just because it is a little bit of a thicker applicator. Let's just try this Elf Instant Brow Lift Pencil. This is like a big crayon. You can get a little more precise here, especially for like the bottom portion of my brow. This Elf one seems to be really thin in its pigment. Maybe the color is just a little lighter than what I'm used to, which is okay. It's just different. Yeah, I'm not loving this e.l.f. one either. Yeah, the hard candy one's definitely more pigmented and smooth. These are how the brows are looking. I'm not obsessed with either of those products. Um, usually this is my bad brow, but I actually like how this one turned out more. And I actually did do the right brow entirely with the hard candy one. Oh, I actually actually have another brow product that I forgot about. So this is another hard candy product. These are the Brows Now Fiber Gel and Cellulose Gel. What shade are you? Light medium. So I'm going to go ahead and shape my brows a little bit more with this and set them in place. This is definitely a little bit darker in color than the other brow products that I went in with, but that's fine as long as I cover them all. You can tell that it is forming the brows a little bit because they are a little tougher to brush through. So it did shape them and put them in place nicely. So for eyes, I picked out the little e.l.f. mini palette. Um, I picked out the quad in the shade cream and sugar. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to start out by firstly going in with this kind of like beigey light brown color. Pack it into the crease. See if we can add a little depth with that. I think it'll be too light to deepen the crease with. It's too light to deepen the crease. So I guess I'm going to go in with this darker chocolate brown shade and I'm going to go in with this more tapered crease brush. This is a Sephora brush and we're just going to put that in the outer corner and then the crease somewhat work it in there and I'm more so using this to get the actual shape um, I'll go in with another brush to do the blending what I'm going to do now is go in with one of the shimmer shades I'm gonna go in with the lightest one first and focus this on the middle of my lid and then the inner corner and I'm just gonna go in right with my finger because I feel like that will be the best application with these beautiful beautiful champagne -y shades so I'm just gonna try and pack that on the lid and then the inner corner and I will be going in with a brush to help with some of the precision. I'm going to go in with my Sephora Pro Shader 18 to do like the edges and this champagne shade works really really nicely with that. They look beautiful together. And then I'm going back in with that NYX blending brush number 16 and taking that deepest shade and kind of blurring those edges between the shimmer and the crease shade. So I'm going to leave the eyes like that for now. I think that was okay. I love the lid shade. Crease shade didn't wow me. I think my blending is also just a little off today. Um, but we are going to go in with a new liquid liner, which I'm super excited about. I have swatched this on the back of my hand and it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Little Black Dress Liner. Nice big felt tip there. So I'm going to go in with this and then do a relatively thick wing because we have some new lashes to try out today. I think that that liner looks 
fairly good it's definitely not even but it's always a little difficult when you're working with a new liner the lashes that i grabbed are part of the kiss lash couture line these are called the Lux tensions so they're supposed to be like an in-between of lash extensions and strip lashes so they are made to look a little bit more natural these are in royal silk so i'm gonna go ahead and trim these and put the glue on i'm just using my regular duo lash adhesive for this and while i'm waiting on my glue to get tacky i'm gonna go ahead and try out my blush so for blush i grabbed the all my healthy hue blush these come in four different shades. I like the packaging on here. It's very sleek, even though it is a cardboard packaging. It's just a little more stepped up than their regular packaging, I feel. I just thought it was really pretty. I saw these blushes and immediately gravitated towards them. I think it's a very, very pretty color. I'm not getting a sheen. I don't think it has any type of sheen or shimmer to it. I think it's just my highlight that's giving it a little bit of that look, but I believe it's just a matte. I've been liking to take my blush a little bit on my nose area. You know, it's not for everyone. Same with the nose highlight. Some people don't like it, but I'm into it. Okay, that's really pretty. Um, definitely a favorite so far. I haven't had a lot of favorites, but I have a really good feeling about this blush. I had a good feeling going into it, but I think that's really, really very pretty. I got the lashes on, no problem. I think they look really, really nice. I'm going to let them just settle in and let the glue form before I go in with my mascara, but I think those are very pretty. I could see these being like my new going out lash. Now it's time for lips, and I have five lip products. I went a little crazy on the lips to begin with and then I was sent that lovely package from Hard Candy. So I have a lot of different lips to try, all very pinky tones, very me. The e.l.f. Seriously Satin Bullet Lipsticks and this is in the shade Cream or Creme. This is their classic nude. I think it is such a pretty color. I know I'm not going to use this one today, but I just wanted to show you guys because it is new at the drugstore and I'll do a little swatch for you. It's just a really, really pretty nude color. It would go well with this look, especially with the smokier eye that we have, but these lips look really pretty. I want to get some of the other shades, but this is just the one that I gravitated towards. Then I have two lip crayons. We have the Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day Glossy Lip Color, and this one is in the shade Blind Date. This is like a really pretty chubbier lip crayon, but this does have a little bit of a gloss and and a sheen to it. I think that shade is very pretty. That's like my typical go-to pink. And then Hard Candy also sent over a all matte up nourishing lip crayon. This has coconut and hemp oil. And this is like same kind of deal, chubbier. So it's a much brighter pink, much brighter than the Physicians Formula. Also have two pink glosses. You guys know I love lip gloss and I love pink gloss. So I have a more warm toned pink gloss and then a more cool toned pink. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss. I've been wanting to try this gloss formula since it launched. I've heard amazing things about it. And then Heart Candy sent over some of their new Gloss Topia Ultimate Lip Shine with Hyaluronic Acid glosses. And this one is like a gorgeous, like almost lilac cool toned pink. So I think this one is very, very pretty as well. I think I'll go in with the matte shade from Hard Candy because that'll glide on nicer with a uh, lip balm down. Yeah, that gives me a little bit of color. And then I'm going to top it all off with the Revlon Super Gloss, The Gloss, and this is in Pink Kissimo. Ooh, that goes really nicely with the lip color. It's not a super thin gloss, um, but it's not a very thick gloss either. So for the Hard Candy Primers, I don't think either was a winner, but I don't think they were bad on their own. These are things that you really have to try out more than once and see if they make a difference in like longevity, how the makeup sits on the skin, whatever, whatever. I think this one's nice. It's different to have in my collection. So neither here nor there on either of these. The foundation and the concealer, I was incredibly excited to try. And unfortunately, I can say that I'm not currently a fan of either. So I think it might have just been prepping today, my skin just being much drier than it normally is, having to cover acne, a lot of different variables made these not winners today, 
Um, but I'll keep playing around and see what I think of both of these. Not crazy about this e.l.f. pencil. In fact, I don't really like it at all thus far. I'm on the fence about this brow pencil. For using it once, it's very hard to tell. Could just be a learning curve in terms of the shape of the wand, but I was not a big fan of this like brush spoolie situation. So neither here nor there for this product either. This hard candy brows what is this called? Brows Now Fiber Brow Gel. I really like the size of the spoolie and the way it felt in my brows, so this is a go for me on first impression. The eyeshadow, unfortunately, I'm not absolutely crazy about. I think the bite size palettes are very cute, and I got a decent look out of it, though much more cool toned than I was anticipating, so it's kind of up to you there. I absolutely love the lashes. I think this whole lash couture extension strip lash idea is really cool. These look very pretty, flirty, fluffy, perfect for a night out, so I'm definitely into these lashes. I like these a lot, and I'd love to try out different styles. For the blush, I'm really into it. I think it is very pretty. I'm such a blush person, and I don't think it's very hard to impress me with blushes, to be honest, but I just think this one is very pretty. I like the packaging. I like the way it performs, so this is a definite go for me. This is a winner. I think both of these lip products are really nice. Again, lips like blush I feel like are hard to get wrong, but I would definitely recommend these Hard Candy All Matte Up lip products. I think it's really nice and I love the color. And this Revlon The Gloss is very, very pretty. Even though I didn't like probably 80% of the products that I tried today, at least it can maybe let you know what to save money on. That is everything that I have for you guys today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day. Bye!